even though Tiger may arguably be the best golfer to ever play the game, does he even have style? Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Jeremy. And I'm Riley. And we are the Golf Style Guys. Tune in today, episode three. We have another pack pack episode, and I think this one's going to get a lot of likes. Riley, can't wait to talk about this one. Yeah, I'm excited. Whenever we talk about Tiger Woods, he's the needle of the mm -hmm. PGA Tour, has been since he, you know, came into the spot. So I'm excited to talk about little uh, El Tigre. For sure. And if you guys aren't subscribed and uh, following us on social media accounts, make sure you do so uh, at the G Style Guys on Twitter and at Golf City Style on Instagram. And of course, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell below so when you get notified when we drop a video. Let's jump right into it. Riley, what is your opinion on Tiger style? So Tiger, uh, when he was a young kid playing in AM events, he was rocking straw hats, the striped polo, short shorts. I remember all those videos coming out, the short shorts. I actually don't mind that look. Right. And then as he got older, um, obviously Nike came in mm -hmm. and his style was pretty decent. He had the mock necks, which I still don't know if I'm a huge fan of the mock necks. He had like the oversized sweaters. But again, that was kind of just a time thing. That was like his era. Right. And then came the era when the Nike implemented the dry fit material and all the golf gear and everything was neon and like kind of like ugly the designs weren't great and i definitely think that kind of like hurt but again that's not necessarily his fault because right. that's the brand implementing a bunch of shirts that don't look great now like when he goes out and around today i don't hate it it's very very simple it's all sweaters um i know we talked about it off air the vest which you'll get to in a second um but overall i do i like tiger style it's very simple it's very just PGA Tour, throw on a sweater, throw on whatever Nike gives you and go. I necessarily mm -hmm. don't think it's bad. Uh, he's definitely not going to be a guy wearing joggers. He's probably never going to wear a red hoodie on Sunday. Uh, but yeah, I just think his style is very basic. He looks good. Off the course, he looks awful. Uh, but I think on the golf course, I think he has pretty solid style. Really? You don't think he's going to ever wear a red hoodie? What if he does? What if just one day he wants to Ooh. casually throw on a red hoodie? When he does, and if he does, that's that turns everything upside down. For sure. Because that means, and um, I said it, I think, on the first show when we talked about hoodies, it was if once you start getting the higher ranked guys on the PGA Tour wearing this stuff is when it is when it's going to blow up. Because what if the 200th ranked player on tour, and we had somebody comment that in the first video, if the 200th ranked player on tour came out and wear a hoodie, I couldn't even name you who that is. I don't know who that is. If he wear a hoodie, that I, he's right. not going to be on TV. He's not going to influence anything. It's when the big guys start doing it where that's where the real change comes in. And if Tiger does it, that's an absolute game changer to Absolutely. what you can wear in a golf course. But let, let's let's segue back to when Tiger started the Sunday Red. You know, here is something that he's wearing because in his culture, uh, Sundays meant uh, means good luck and means well, um, and that's changed golf style tremendously. Yeah. Yeah, that's Sunday Red, and we have a, a comment from Instagram that kind of said the same thing later in the show, but people that don't pay attention to golf, when they see Tiger in the red, they like know what it means. That's how impactful his Sunday Red and black combos are with the right. sweaters and whatever he wears. And that's another thing that I just, that's like a style thing for him over pretty much, like no one else on the PGA Tour has like a day where they wear like a certain thing and it has the same impact. Tiger with the red is just kind of different compared to everything else. Yeah, absolutely. And that comment comes from KWS22. He said, Sunday red is known by both golf fans and not golf fans. That is a style within itself. Absolutely. Whenever you have an influencer like that come in and uh, specifically represent a color, like you know Tiger is going to be wearing red on Sunday no matter what tournament he is, no matter what day, you know, he's going to be wearing red on that Sunday every tournament. That for sure uh, – 100% agree with you that that is a style statement without a doubt. You know, it's a trend. He's starting a trend, and it, the trend is going on and going on and going on, but you know where the trend came from. Yeah, and him and Charlie at the PNC were, with the red yeah. was sick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna come to a point. You know how, like in, in in baseball, football, basketball, they'll retire your number. Well, when Tiger retires, they're gonna retire red on PGA Tour. Yeah, no one can wear red shirts for like the rest of yeah. PGA Tour yeah. history. Yeah. All right, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll throw into the second comment here. Social media tapping, and again, if you're not following us, make sure you follow us on Twitter and, and, and Instagram to to weigh in on our weekly tap ins, and you guys can be featured on the show. So this one comes from Twizzwiz Three. He's got style for an old cat. He looks good, but his style is more aimed to an older generation. Yeah, and I think I. I think I kind of agree. The newer generation is moving towards, like we've talked about in the first show, the joggers kind of. Um, when you look at all the am kids coming up, mm -hmm. the shorts are a little bit shorter. They're not 
going past the knee like they sometimes do with these PGA Tour guys. And Tiger fits a little bit of the older generation. Of course, he has the new stuff. When Nike comes out with certain stuff, he's going to wear it. Mm. But overall, he has the older kind of style where it's just very basic, not flamboyant colors. It's not neon. It's not all that kind of stuff. It's very earth tones, black, red, the lavender every once in a while. Uh, but I think I agree. Yeah, Tiger's just got kind of an older, older style. And now, uh, right, let's throw it back to the match with with uh, Peyton Manning, uh, Tom Brady, Phil. Tiger, and Phil. Mitt, right. Let's throw it back to there where Tiger was wearing, so they say, cargo shorts on the golf course. What do you think of that? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, expect, I mean, the short cargo shorts and then shorts that have like pockets on the side. I mean, I guess that's kind of the same thing. But when I picture cargo shorts, it's those like hefty pockets on the side Khaki that have like color, its own yeah. own latch and right. like buttons to hold it down. I've seen golf shorts that have like one of those like little zipper pockets on the mm-hmm. side, which mm-hmm. I don't hate those. But yeah, the <laughs> the cargo shorts on a golf course is probably a no for me. That's in the same conversation as like wearing like jeans. Right. Those two kind of things go hand in hand with me. Right. But yeah, no to the cargo shorts. Yeah, absolutely not. And uh, he was getting ragged on that for that, of course, because number one, he's Tiger and you know he should know better and whatnot but that you have i haven't seen anyone jump on that trend yet so I'll wait till yeah, yeah hopefully yeah hopefully that's not the new one all right let's let's break down let's break down some of his style and we'll start from his early years usam to you know his mid years uh and then now now to present so we'll start at the 1994 us amateur uh this was his victory at tpc sawgrass here you said like you said before he's in that straw hat with that stripe pink i guess white with a navy bottom with that uh with that belt buckle there what's what's your thoughts on this this is fantastic this is like what the boys would wear on like a early like saturday round like down in florida or something i love this outfit the na- uh, the navy matches the navy on the hat mm-hmm. big fan of the hat and then that shirt is just vintage striped a little oversized which obviously is an era thing but i'm a i'm a big fan of this young tiger outfit for sure absolutely um and i can't wait for tiger to bring let's say he brings this style till now i think he i think he can pull it off very well oh absolutely if he wore this tomorrow it would it it wouldn't blend in because obviously a bunch of people aren't wearing that kind of hat but it would be just be money if he walked to the course like that he would maybe he would throw in like a a a navy tw hat with the pink i love the pink stripe i haven't seen more pink in a while but i love the pink stripes i'm a big pink guy with the navy Top notch, top notch there for nowadays. And again, yes, the shirt, the fit is baggy, but again, that's a 1990 style where everything was baggy. Yeah, that's an era thing. Shirts big, everything was big back then. But mm-hmm. yeah, that I love that outfit. All right, let's go to 2000. This looks like we're at Pebble here. Um, this was that big that 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 tournament where he where he made that big putt to push the playoff, and, and I'm pretty sure that's who that is. But here he is. It's a Sunday, but he's not in a Sunday red. He's in a Sunday burgundy again with a baggy fit. Yeah, I design wise, I know this isn't like his super bright red uh, that he's known for now where you see it. and It's like, oh, it's Sunday. This thing is super red. Like this could be like a Thursday outfit. I do like the shirt, the burgundy contrast with the black with the black uh, collar matches the hat and everything. Yeah. I think it's solid. But for his red brand, it's definitely not the norm. This is like a very dark color. Like he could wear this, like I said, on like a Friday round. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just another pretty basic outfit uh, from Tiger. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a no-go for me. I don't like the dark color with the dark pants and the dark hat. It's just it, for me, you have to have more balance. Whether if you're gonna have a dark top, have a lighter bottom. If you're gonna have a light to- a light bottom, have a darker top. You know, stuff like that. I just I can't see myself wearing this, and I don't think I don't think he he looks good in this. Me personally speaking. Yeah, no, I feel you. The yeah, the everything yeah everything is definitely dark. Um, I think I would be much bigger of a fan of this outfit if if the color of the shirt was just like a little bit brighter, like right. his normal red shirt. Right. Uh, but yeah, everything is pretty dark in this one. Fast forward to now, Thursday through Sunday, Tiger's wearing bright colors, brighter, right. st- brighter looking good, better colors. Yeah. Let's jump over to 2005. Tiger, let me tell you, Riley, thank God for dry fit because look at this right here. We got the bright green with the white hat and the gray pants with sweat stains. Yeah, look at my guy. And and like I, we were talking off air at a tournament a couple of years ago. I don't know if it was the 2018 PGA or if it was a tour championship, maybe because Atlanta gets really hot. But my man could just not stay dry. He was changing his shirt four or five times around. Joey was lugging around a wardrobe with him <laughs> in the bag. Huh. And I mean, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sure his armpits also don't look great. Obviously, this picture doesn't say it. But yeah, man, look at those. Look at those pants. Drenched. Drenched. Not to mention they're still baggy. Tight, uh, the f tight fit on top. It's getting a little better. Not the baggy, but the bottom again is getting, getting body baggy. All right, and let's fast forward to pres the uh, 2019 PJ Championship at Pef Page. This is a practice round. I'm pretty sure it's a Wednesday's practice round. I like the sweater, right? I like that you can't see the collar. It looks like he's wearing one of those collarless shirts. Um, but what is he doing up top? It's a little, what he's got a Carhartt, Carhartt, uh, a scully on with a with a double hat. Like, what is this about? Yeah, I don't know. I like before before if the beanie was not on his head, I would love this outfit. Absolutely. I love the blue. I love the blues. The blues go great together. Um, I don't know what pants he's wearing. I don't know if they're gray or black, but I like how the sweater underneath his shirt underneath matches the hat. I love that. Yeah. But yeah, the scully. I don't know what he's doing. I know. I know when I did construction jobs back in the day, we sometimes did that to yeah. kind of keep like the the band of the beanie like out of your eye so it's not slipping on your face all the time. Or if it's, so the, or if it's raining, you keep the water right, out of your face. Right, exactly. But like overall, I mean, it's not a good look. No. It doesn't look good. Absolutely I mean, it not. might be like functional and, you know, have serve a purpose. But yeah, it's just <laughs> it does not look you know, great. You know who does that? Dads. Oh, that's a dad move. <laughs> that's a dad move. 100%. Yeah, that's like dad a dad move. bonfire move. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so, like I said, I like the color. Don't like the double hat. I'm pretty sure he's wearing like maybe like a gray bottom or something like that. But I like this fit. However, when he starts breaking out those V-neck old cotton Nike vests, no, no, no. I don't like that. <laughs> However, I do like this. So, let's answer this last question. Does Tiger Woods actually have style? So, I think on the course, I'm going to kind of just stick with my opinion here. I think... On the course, he does. Obviously, everybody has style choices that aren't perceived great. Certain outfits, whatever. He has very basic style. Kind of just wears whatever Nike gives him. Right. Pretty much is what it comes down to. I don't know if uh, any of our listeners and watchers have seen Tiger off the course. He's a terrible dresser off of the course. Dad, um, if dad. you guys look up. Yeah, just dad, dad, dad. Back in the day, like 2005 to like 2012, he was wearing the like the huge button down shirts with patterns everywhere. His style off the course was terrible. But I think on the golf course, I think he has a basic style and he just looks good. I'm going to have to disagree. Um, I think if it wasn't for Nike, this man would be lost, completely lost. He would be looking like how he looks in 2000, 2005. Because if it wasn't for Nike, he wouldn't have no one to guide him. And he, uh, thank God for Nike in those early years, be able to guide him for colors and, and styles. And now, even so, I don't like how his pants are so baggy on the bottom. Even when he wears shorts, they're so baggy. They're past his knees. But up top, he's getting better. All right. So maybe in a couple years, Tiger will have a, a, a joggers hoodie. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? That would change the curve. But. There you have it for episode three. Does Tiger actually have style? Let us know in the comments below. Does Tiger actually have style? We want to know. And like I said, make sure you guys subscribe, hit the, no hit the notification bell, and uh, stay tuned for next week. Appreciate it, guys.